and welcome to Minsloof Academy. This is part 20 in our network basics tutorial. In this lecture we are going to discuss interference and frequency, which is an, an important topic within networking theory. So if you haven't watched the 19 previous parts, you can find a playlist of them up in the right corner right here. So let's start off. What is frequency? Well. A frequency is basically an electromagnetic wave that we use to send data along. And in frequency we have two different major bands that we use. We have the 5 GHz and the 2.4 GHz, which is the most, most common when we are discussing wireless networks. And most of you might be used to the 2.4 GHz, which in previous time didn't have a name like 2.4. But if you have upgraded your devices, like your router, or you have gone to a local shop, you might see that there are two versions of the same network. There is one called 5 GHz, for example, depending on what they have called it, and then there is one called 2.4, because modern devices now support these two, and there is some disadvantages and some benefits, depending on what you are looking for. But basically, the frequency is what we use to transfer data along a wireless network. So, when we have frequencies and we are transferring something wirelessly, there is also interference, and interference is when we get a disruption in the signal. And most of you will probably have experienced some kind of interference if you're going into a building where you have maybe gone down to the basement or you have sit behind some very large uh, metal wall, you might see that your signal either uh, drop uh, to a very low point or it totally disappear. And that is basically interference when you are losing the signal. You can also have interference if there are too much traffic or too much electric magnetic waves in the air, meaning that the signal that you are trying to communicate over is basically getting too weak or getting uh, to mixed up with all the other signals and something that can cause this is for example a microwave so if you place your wireless router on top of your microwave you might see that the signal drops when you are making popcorns or if you place it behind a very thick wall you also see that the signal might be very good right in front of it but if you go behind that wall if you have a room uh, on the other side you may might see that even though you know that the router is only two meters away, but given that these two meters are thick wall, you might see that you have a bad signal as well. Also ba baby monitors and other stuff that use wireless uh, signal and are communicating over frequency might make interference in your signal. So let's discuss these two main network bands. As mentioned we have the 2.5 gigahertz and we have the 5 gigahertz and basically the gigahertz is telling us how much is uh, traveling, how many cycles are traveling through the air. So hertz is the amount of cycle that is going over a certain point at a given second. So when we are talking about gigahertz we are saying billions of cycles that is traveling over a given point in a second. So when you have the 5 gigahertz there is basically 5 billion cycles per second that is traveling over a given frequency. So if we discuss the two of them, we have the 2.4 which has a longer range and the problem with the 2.4 and that is the reason why most people are now moving over to 5 GHz is because there is a lot of time too much interference because this is a very popular frequency to use. And this means that if you're living in a very large apartment complex and all your neighbors start to set up different uh, wireless points and they all use the same frequency 2.4, you might see that they are interfering with your signal because there is simply too much traffic on the same frequency. And that is why some switch over to 5 GHz because it is a newer version um, that is supported in new devices, meaning that it is less popular and there are not that many devices yet set up to use this so the frequency is uh, have a lot less traffic on it 
And what is the other advantage of 5 GHz is that there can be traveled more data per antenna, meaning that we can send a lot more data uh, from point to point on our wireless network. And then it is, in most cases, also more expensive because it is only new devices that support this, meaning that you either have to upgrade or pay a little extra to get a device that also supports these. But I know that it has been around for some years now, meaning that most devices are now supporting is a standard and you can really feel the, the price range. Only if you're going to have some very uh, expensive and some very good equipment, you will see that there is a, a price difference. And of course, the major advantages over uh, 2.4 is that there are less interference on this network. But there are also the problem, giving that 2.4 compared to the 5 gigahertz can handle a lot more obstacles and in order to understand it, this we will go over and make a little illustration the 5 gigahertz we're going to draw how it basically looks when we are communicating over these electromagnetic waves so for the 2.4 we have the waves like this going through the air and then for the 5 gigahertz, we basically have double the amount of waves that we have in the 2.4. So it will look like something like that. Whereas here we have half the amount of waves that basically we have here because there is twice as much. Um, getting through the air. But the problem here is also that if we make an obstacle, let's say, for example, mm, there was a bad point, let's say here. Let's say this is a wall. Then you can imagine that here in the 2.4 it is only half a wave that is getting interrupted by this wall, whereas in the 5 gigahertz it is two cycles that is getting interrupted by this wall. This means that the 5 GHz is a lot more sensitive to obstacles. So if you use the 5 GHz internet and want to benefit from having less interference, you need to make sure that you are setting up the access, wireless access point at a place where there is as little interference as possible meaning that it makes no sense to place it in the basement if you're going to use it on other floors or in rooms far away from where you, you set it. So this is basically the basics of interference and frequency. So I hope now that you know why there typically are two networks with the same name when you are looking at wireless networks around the city or maybe in your own home and why your device is asking you to set up a 2.4 gigahertz and a 5 gigahertz uh, signal. I will see you next time here on Winslow Academy.